Just how close are we to a deal with NAFTA? We are pretty close, although even late last night and again this morning, uh, top administration officials uh, kind of warning us not to get overly exuberant about this. Uh, a uh, USTR sort of official word saying there's no deal yet. There's still some major uh, obstacles before they can say it's a deal. Uh, but at least in terms of the workings with Mexico, uh, the U.S. Uh, is optimistic. Uh, and it sounds like a couple of the key areas we think have been resolved or pretty close to resolved on the sticking points. And these are in the areas both of cars and of agriculture. Uh, but again, remember, uh, they, we still got to work this whole thing out with Canada. And there are still some sticking points uh, over the sunset clause, government contracts, the dairy issue. Uh, so this is apparently not a done deal yet, but uh, some significant hurdles seem to be cleared or uh, about to be cleared pending some additional meetings even today uh, between uh, the Mexican officials and the U.S. Margaret, the headline just crossed in the Bloomberg that Jared Kushner, this senior White House aide, speaking to reporters in D.C., saying the NAFTA negotiations with Mexico are going well. Now, we know that. And, and my question coming into all of this would have been, wouldn't it have been easier to get something done with Canada than Mexico? Why are we having such big issues with Canada and not Mexico? Like in a word, yes. I mean, so Mexico appears in a position to uh, agree to some U.S. demands on some of these issues. And the U.S. felt that it could uh, be in a stronger position, I guess, to leverage Canada if it worked out some of these issues bilaterally uh, with Mexico. So Canada now sort of waiting uh, for the conclusion of this. And you have to think that's part of what's going on here with, uh, you know, when people send word that these issues are almost resolved, breakthroughs happening. Some of this is to give the U.S. some momentum uh, going into that part where they try to bring Canada into the fold on U.S. terms.